Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video I'm going to be showing you how to change the letter of one of your hard drives or a couple of your hard drives. It depends what you want to do. In my circumstance, I have the Samsung and I have a WD Passport. So this is I, this is J. I want to actually change this one to F and I'm going to change this one to G. You can do this with your internal hard drives as well. These are actually external, but this would apply to your internal as well. You might even be able to change the floppy disk letter or uh, this one as well, hard disk, floppy disk. I'm pretty sure this does the same exact thing. Notice this is A, B, D. You can switch all these around. So let me show you exactly. I just You can't double up one letter, so you can't have two as A. It's going to have to be A or B. So anyway, I'm going to show you, and you guys can mess around with it on your own, but I'm going to change this I to F. I'm going to change this J to G. So let's get started. Let's click out of that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here to the Start button. Go ahead and left-click that and come up to Control Panel right here. Left-click that. And this right here is your Control Panel settings here. And go up right here to Administrative Tools. It's somewhere in your list. Just find Administrative Tools with this little decal here. Go ahead and left-click that. All right. Now what we want to do is we see this list right here. Go ahead and left-click Computer Management. And we might have to double left click that until you see this right here. Now, once you get to this menu here, you're going to go ahead and look under storage. If you do not see anything under storage, click this little arrow right here, left click that one time, you'll see disk management. Go ahead and double left click on disk management, and it'll take a little bit of time to load disk configuration information. But as we're waiting for that to load, here we go. So right now we see C, D, E, I. Again, remember that I want to change Samsung to F and W, D to G. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hover over it, left click one time until it's highlighted. Then we are going to right click. And then we're going to go down here in this menu to change drive letter and path. Go ahead and left click that. And now we see that allow access to this volume by using the drive letter and paths. Right now it's I. So we want to change that. So left click change. And right over here, we're going to come over here, drop down that. We're going to change that to F. Okay, that's all we do. Now we hit OK, left click. Some drive programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? I'm going to go ahead and push yes because. I need it to go back to F so that my Sony Vegas Pro editing software can recognize it. But if you guys have programs, for instance, um, with my Sony Vegas, let me show you real quick. So I edit videos, and as I'm editing these videos, it's saved to Samsung letter F. Well, I messed around with it a little bit. Now it again showed I, so now all this media is offline. It can't find the files. So Anyway, if you have important files that rely on that, you might want to reconfigure those to also determine the new letter for your drive. So I'm going to go ahead and push yes. There we see right there, guys, Samsung with an F after it. Fantastic. Let me go ahead and make W uh, Passport J. I'm going to make that a G real quick again. Left click, highlight, then right click, drop down, change drive letter and paths. We're going to change J, we're going to hit change, we're going to change that to G, which is the top one. We're going to hit OK, same thing, yes, boom, WD, Passport, G, baby, all right. Then all we do is we just exit out of that and click off that and that. Let's go ahead and double check it now, hit start, hit computer, boom, Samsung F, WD, WD Passport G, baby. We're looking really good. Hope this helps you guys. Definitely mess around with it. Figure it out. It's awesome to be able to do things on your own. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. i got a lot more awesome videos coming your way about computer fixes, all sorts of wonderful things on this channel. So hit that subscribe button if you're into it. And look in the description box below. I'm going to have some links for some cool things. My screen capture, software, Sony Vegas Pro if you're into it, etc., etc. You guys have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye.